Hassan Jenjua. My GitHub account is PyMixin, and you can reach me via Twitter at HJenjua. In this course, you will learn what is data warehousing. It's a basic primer introduction to data warehousing. Then you will learn history and evaluation of data warehousing. We'll start from 1970s when things got started to date and talk about important changes in data warehousing history. Next, we'll learn limitations of traditional data warehouse. Like when we deploy traditional data warehouses in inter enterprise, what are the limitations we came, up, we came across over the years and how we can overcome them. Next, we're going to talk about modernization of data warehouse, how modern technological advances help to define the modern data warehouses which enterprise is using today. Further, we're going to talk about Azure Synapse. Azure Synapse is a, is a new service released by Microsoft Azure, uh, which you can have your data warehouse in the cloud, and you can also use data warehouse as a service. We're going to do a beast of a, a, a basic introduction of Azure Synapse. Then we're going to do a detailed demo on Azure Synapse. We'll start from creating Azure Synapse environment and we are going to upload some, some sample data and play around with it. Further, I'm going to do introduction to Synapse Analytics Studio. Synapse Ana Analytics Studio is divided into various activity hubs. We are going to discuss each activity hubs one by one. For example, overview, data, develop, orchestrate, manage, and monitor. Further, we are going to do demo for each of the hubs and with, with the sample data, so you guys know what, what each of those functions are all about, or activities for that matter. Further, we're going to look at Azure Synapse Analytics Service Architecture in, de in detail. We're going to look at, uh, under the hood, um, how Microsoft have uh, configured it and how we're going to use it. We're going to talk about use cases and benefits around Azure Synapse Service. We're going to look at a new term, HTAP, what is hybrid transactional and analytical processing, how we can use that in the modern world today. We are going to look at another service of Azure, which is called Azure Synapse Link. We're going to talk, do, do, do a brief introduction to the service. We are going to look at the architecture design of that service. We are going to look at some benefits and use cases of that service. And as these services are new, I will try to demo them as much as I can, because these services just came on the horizon. For example, Azure Synapse Link released a couple of months ago. And um, although Azure Synapse has been around since 2018, but the real uh, workspace uh, experience just came a couple, of, a couple of months or I think four months ago. So, um, so I'll try to demo as much as I can, and I'll try to explain you the, the benefits, use cases, architecture and how, and how um, how you can potentially use it in your enterprise. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.